Okay, so I've been trying to record this voiceover forever now, and I keep going on tangents. So I keep redoing it. And I'm getting kind of frustrated myself because of that. But, you know, it's all cool. So, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys have been having an amazing day, week, year. Um, yeah. Once again, I'm going to probably go on another tangent. So, real quick about this picture. The, I procrastinated this picture a lot because I was so afraid of messing up on it and doing it wrong, even though I had this sketch already done and all I needed to do was eke this picture. Um, but I am so happy that I did procrastinate on it because when I finally decided to do this picture, I had actually gotten different color markers that would have worked for this. I was actually going to go for a really neutral gray tone picture on this with, you know, some blue. Those were the markers that I had at that time. So here are my markers. So I had the Azure, which I found at Walmart for super cheap. I was surprised Mar Azure had markers. I mean, Azure, Walmart had markers, alcohol-based markers specifically. Walmart totally has markers, just not alcohol-based. Um... And then I also found artist love markers on clearance and I wanted to try them. So I was originally going to have this really like grayish color pattern with some blue in it because I had the Spectra 80 markers and they're brush markers. So they're really nice. I found them on clearance a while back at Hobby Lobby and I don't remember how long ago. Right. And I just kind of kept them until I had the color palette that I wanted. And then one day I was going around, went into a Daiso, and saw the Fluenti markers. And I was, once I got those, I came home and I was like, yep, this, this is my palette. I was kind of wanting to do a bit of a marker review to try to test these out, to kind of see, you know, if they were good. And honestly, Here's the thing about alcohol-based markers. They all work the same. Like, I've never found alcohol-based markers to have really any problems or flaws on them. If you heard that, that was my dog. Anyways, um, the only difference is if they have a brush nib or a fine tip nib, I feel like. You know, but for the most part, alcohol-based markers all work the same. So I always let people know, like, you don't have to have them this expensive. Yes, I do have a bunch of Copic markers, which I actually rarely use. And it sounds weird. I'm actually more into the fine tip than the brush nib. I don't know why. I feel like it, it fine tip gives me more control, so I just like it better. It's weird. But anyways, so um, when I finally got my color palette on this, it, like, and I just did this picture, I was extremely happy with how it came out. You know, I'm so proud of this picture. I, I absolutely love it. It's such a reflection of my art. This contrast between modern and ancient. I'm very into a contrast theme. So uh, this is something that I just, I can't believe I was able to do. Right? And see, go on another tangent. But I'm really proud of this picture, and I don't really know how to express it, like... Well, no, I do know how to express it. That's besides the point, besides the point, guys, besides the point, right? Anyways, so based on the markers, they work really well. I really like them. I know people have said the Artist Loft um, markers will fray. I haven't seen that yet, so I'll have to keep testing them to see if they do or not. And I feel like even if they do, it's probably not going to be super detrimental to me. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to let you guys kind of enjoy this picture, ignore all my rambling because I will ramble on and on and on, and let me know what you guys think. Um, please comment, you know, subscribe, and kind of keep doing your best with art. Like, don't ever give up because I'm already doing that enough for you guys. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Right? But don't ever give up on art because even if you don't have the best supplies, even if, you know, you might not be the best artist, it takes time and practice. Right? And 
me, I'm not the best artist, but it's when you put your mind to something, you can be amazing. All right, please take care and let me know what you think. Thank you.